welcome to another episode of Positive Parenting with Astrology. I am your host and resident Gemini, Maria Rieger, and today we're talking about Gemini parents. That's right, it's Gemini season. I have a lot of Gemini-related content for you. This and the next video are gonna deal more with Gemini parents instead of Gemini kids. So before we get into it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for your free weekly Positive Parenting with Astrology content. You can also sign up for my mailing list to get special offers, more free content, updated information about current planetary transits and how they are affecting you and your children and the family dynamics. The link is below in the video description. So today, specifically, we're talking about the three best qualities of the Gemini parent. Now, as we know, Gemini is a mutable air sign. So mutable modality means it kind of uh, waffles changes between fixed and cardinal modality. So sometimes it can exhibit more of a fixed, stable nature. Sometimes it can exhibit more of a cardinal, active, kind of progressive, moving forward, uh, intent on achievement, intent on forward momentum and progression. But since Gemini is an air sign and air signs basically cover a lot of information and a lot of uh, area, but not always in depth. So air covers a lot of ground, but I don't like to use the term superficial because it's uh, Gemini's are stereotyped using that term all the time, but air covers, uh, you know, doesn't always cover things in depth, it covers like surface or in a superficial way, but it covers a lot of ground, okay? And that is seen a lot of the time when you talk about Gemini energy. It's uh, Gemini people have a vast amount of knowledge in a lot of different areas and sometimes can be kind of exemplify that jack of all trades, master of none, because they have a lot of interests that compete for their time and attention. Now, Gemini is a masculine energy sign. Air is a masculine, uh, has a masculine quality to it. And, and air signs approach the world from a place of logic and detachment, as opposed to a place of like emotion, intuition, and feeling. That's important to remember in your relationship with your kid if you're the Gemini parent. So the first trait, the first of the three traits we're gonna talk about, the three best traits of the Gemini parent is the uh, ability to use language, specifically precise language. Gemini people are gifted with language. Sp can be spoken and or written, it depends. Uh, if you've watched my videos for a time you and maybe you've read my books, uh, you, you may have come to the conclusion that I'm more comfortable with written communication than, than spoken communication, and that is true. So you do have Gemini people who are great orators, they're great public, they're, they're great debaters, they're great public speakers, have a gift of spoken expression, and other Geminis tend toward more written expression like me. And some Geminis have the gift for both, and they're very lucky but we wanna focus on the use of language, specifically precise language to differentiate concepts. So relationship astrologer, Stephen Arroyo, who I refer to a lot on this channel, he's also a psychologist, he refers to Gemini energy as the immediate perception and verbalization of all connections. The main thing you need to understand about Gemini energy is that Gemini people, they're always thinking, their brains are always on. They're always taking in, processing, differentiating, and analyzing data. It is a constant process. It is very difficult to turn off. So they're constantly making these connections, right? And because they're so, these connections are so abundant, they become very adept at differentiating concepts and differentiating different things. This is, can be very helpful to you as a parent, okay? We're gonna ex explain why in a second. But Gemini people instantly see and understand connections. In fact, other people appear to have a more sl slower thought process to Gemini people. Geminis are also compelled to verbalize this experience. They're compelled to communicate. So all of this makes Geminis very good at language expression, articulating concepts. This is one reason why Gemini energy tends to make the chart holder a good lawyer. If you've watched this channel for a while, you know that my day job is as a corporate attorney and I really enjoy it because it lets you differentiate concepts and parse out concepts and it lets you engage in lawyer speak. I promise we will look at this. I didn't say we were gonna do anything about it or make any conclusions or recommendations, but I promise we'll look at this, right? I had an attorney tell me once, 
I can guarantee you a response. Oh, I cannot guarantee you the content of the response, but I can guarantee you a response. Okay, so you're not guaranteeing me a positive response or a response that I'll be okay with, just a response. This is kind of one of the reasons people don't like lawyers, and this is one of the bad reputations Gemini have. And I'll give you kind of another example of this. Uh, so that I've talked about in another video when I talked about specifically this specific trait regarding language expression of Gemini. So when I was taking the law school entrance exam, we the proctor was reading all these rules to us and she read specifically, and we had those rules in a sheet of paper in front of us on the desk, right? She read, okay, here are the things you are allowed to have on your desks. Your ID, two number two pencils, whatever. Okay, the desks were very small. I did not want anything on my desk because it was distracting. It may fall off when I was taking the test, but nowhere did it say we were required to have these things, including the ID on our desk. The paper in front of us said, the only things you are allowed to have on your desks are ID and two pencils. The proctor said the same. So I raised my hand and I said, my question is, are we required to have our IDs on our desks? And the proctor got irritated with me and said, I just said that. I said, no, you said you, the only things you are allowed to have on your desks are ID and pencils. That doesn't mean we're required to have them on our desks. So there, there's a point in a Gemini, a young Gemini's life where the Gemini realizes that other people don't think like that, that other people say something and they have a very clear idea in their head what they mean but it's not communicated verbally to the other party and then the person with the original thought gets irritated when the other party asks for clarification and gemini is always asking for clarification because that's not clear right or we have a different question so this is what i'm talking about here now how does this trait help you as a parent well if you've watched my videos on water sign kids and scorpio kids you'll know that they are very, those children, water sign children are very private. Their emotional experience is intense, deep, and private. And it's challenging for the parent to kind of figure out what kind of emotional experience the child is going through so the parent knows what type of emotional support to provide at that time. It's helpful to have this trait regarding language expression because you are poised to help your child, your emotionally, expressive child nailed down these emotions and describe these emotions. And part of healthy emotional expression is just that. Let's detach for a minute. Gemini's are good at that too, air sign. Let's detach from this emotion for a minute. Let's think about what we're feeling. I feel X, I feel angry, I'm annoyed, whatever. And let's label that, right? And feel it, you can sit in it and kind of let it go. And Gemini's are very good at helping kids articulate things, at teaching kids, okay, so you felt this way or this way. And I have a quick example here. My son a while ago was upset about something. He was not, ex he's not up upset about the decision that was made. He was upset that he had little consideration in the outcome, in the decision-making process. So I realized that I said, okay, you're not upset about what happened. It's more a question of you wanted to have more consideration, right? In this decision-making process. Yes, you wanted to be consulted, yes. So that's helpful to know because you're helping the child learn how to express themselves. And because the parent-child relationship is one of the main models for the child when they form adult relationships, this is very helpful because if they're able to explain these things, you're able to teach them to articulate these different feelings and concepts, they're gonna carry that with them into their adult relationships and it will help them communicate. And one of the main issues that a lot of couples have today is communication. They communicate instead of directly, they communicate indirectly. They communicate in a passive aggressive way. They communicate in a very obtuse way. I know Gemini doesn't have a lot of room to talk here because the nature of air is not to confront obstacles head on. It's to go around obstacles, it's to avoid conflict. But in a relationship, it's not a recipe for a healthy dynamic. So you can see how this trait of the Gemini parent can be used to help the child form healthy emotional relationships. And also in this give and take when you're conversing with the child about these things, it's obviously another way for you to strengthen your connection with the child. 
Another reason this trait is really helpful is because invariably, you know, kids don't, they may not understand what the parent is talking about and they ask clarifying questions. And Gemini, because that's Gemini's experience as a child, the Gemini parent understands that, okay, you need clarification. Well, let me give you more information or let me distinguish or, oh, I said this, but I could understand how you heard this instead of what I intended to communicate. So a lot of times parents get impatient with kids when they ask questions, right, to clarify because parents are tired, we have a lot on our plate. Um, but it's important to remember the kids, they don't yet have this level of uh, sophisticated comprehension that adults have yet because they're still learning, the brain's still developing right into the 20s and they don't have all the words yet to articulate different things. So this is another aspect of this trait that's very helpful to help your child grow. Okay, the second best trait of the Gemini parent is that Geminis have this lifelong curiosity and this love of learning. This gives the sign and, and Gemini people kind of a youthful quality. And if you know Gemini adults, even older adults, they even if they don't necessarily look younger, often they have kind of a youthful countenance or just a youthful personality, or they have a lot of mental or physical energy. So part of the re part of the way the reasons why Gemini stays young like that is because we have a lifelong curiosity about things. It's one of the driving forces of the Gemini experience, learning about things, having new experiences. For obvious reasons, this is great to have as a parent this trait because you're you're modeling this for the child. You're encouraging your child to learn, to have new experiences, to not be afraid to try new things. Gemini parents are often Parents who take the kids traveling to see new destinations, have them experience the world, have them understand that there's way more to the world and life experiences in kind of our little daily bubble that we live in, right? Gemini people are big fans of museums and basically any place that kind of stimulates the mind where you can learn about new stuff, bookstores, anything like this. So it's great to, to take your kid to have those experiences and model that for them. And hopefully it encourages your children to be lifelong learners as well, right? There's always something more to learn. There's always something more to strive to understand. That's a great kind of outlook to have on life. Like the world is full of these experiences and not all of them are positive, but, but we're constantly having these experiences. There are always new things to be learned and new experiences to be had and new places right, to have adventures. So speaking as a Gemini person myself with the Gemini Sun, Mercury, and Venus, this is probably my favorite trait about this energy as I have experienced it because it tends to give the char holder more of a positive, optimistic outlook on life. And the rest of my chart is not so uh, optimistic, but it, it does give the char holder this kind of, you know, life's a stage to you know, a place to be explored. So um, it kind of helps you get through those negative feelings you have and those, those negative moments. And when you're having bad experiences, it tends to give you more of an optimistic outlook because there are always new things to be learned and new experiences, right, to be had that you haven't done yet. And remember, another great thing about this trait is that Gemini parents, by example, teach the kids that learning is fun just for the sake of it, right? Not that, oh, get good grades to get this type of job or this type of recognition, right? That learning for its own sake, just the, the satisfaction of learning new things about the world, about people, about yourself is satisfying in and of itself, right? That there doesn't have to be some kind of end goal, like perfect grades or this perfect job or, you know, recognition or whatnot that just the act of learning itself is very satisfying. And the third and final trait we're gonna talk about the best, one of the three best traits of the Gemini parent is this love of play. Gemini parents typically like to engage in play with their kids. And these are the parents who more than likely are gonna be running around the playground, going down the slides with their kids or in the pool, right, with their kids, as opposed to the parents kind of sitting down like looking at their smartphones and kind of not engaging with the kids. Now, I'm not throwing shade to parents who go to the, you know, to the playground and they sit down and have a rest. You're entitled to your breaks. I'm not saying that that's a negative thing, right? But it is this, this Gemini trait is a great way to kind of bond and strengthen that parent-child connection. 
by engaging in play with your kids. And I'm always talking on this channel about engaging in fun activities with your kids where there's no pressure to get anything done or there's no real goal in mind. It's just having fun, having a good time, just inviting each other into the other space, that this is also a great way to bond. And you spending this kind of free playtime with the kids sends children very powerful messages. First, it sends the children a message that I am worthy of my parents' time. It sends them the message that my parent enjoys spending time with me. No kid wants to be seen as a bother or a chore or just something to cross off the to-do list, right? And I'm not saying that parents think that way, but sometimes our actions, we communicate with our, with our nonverbal expression that we're bogged down or don't have time or we're emo we tend to be, tend to appear sometimes in those circumstances emotionally disconnected from the child. But engaging in this type of play with the children sends them the message that my parent enjoys my company and they're inviting me to exist in their space. And that's very powerful, right? So it, it helps to attach the child to the parent. And it also sends another very important message that relationships in general are fun and f they're filled with fun activities, laughter and positive moments. Now every relationship has some negative moments and you know, you cannot have two people in a close relationship who never get irritated with each other. It just doesn't happen. So that's okay. But relationships in general are positive. There's a lot of laughter, there's fun, and you know, they're not a slog most of the time, right? And they are made up of largely positive moments. And that's what you're striving for. You want your relationship with your children to be full of positive moments, way more than negative moments. And you're gonna have negative moments. It's a given, it's fine, except that don't beat yourself up for it. But you wanna make sure you're having way more positive moments than negative moments. So these are the messages that you're sending to your child when you as a Gemini parent engage in this type of free play with them, whether it's games or the playground or the pool or just kind of hanging around. I had this great experience when my kid was, was younger at the pool, we were at like this resort and I was the only parent in the pool kind of throwing the ball around and splashing around having a good time. And there were other parents and most of them were kind of sitting around just looking at their phones. Eventually the other parents joined in with us and most of the parents were kind of in the pool or at least sitting at the edge of the pool throwing the ball around and they looked happier. And this moment really stuck with me. I mean, this was like years ago when my kid was little. This moment really stuck with me because it's like the whole environment of the pool kind of transformed a little bit and the parents just looked happier and started to be more engaged with the kids. And it was a really positive thing to experience. So remember that you deserve breaks too. I'm not saying that you cannot take breaks that you have to entertain your child all the time. Take your breaks. It's good that you model to the child that you, humans need breaks, right? Also remember to, you know, make sure that you're getting this free time, this free play time with your kids, especially the younger kids. Because when the kids start to become adolescents and teens and spend maybe a little less time with the parents because they're figuring themselves out as individuals, which is developmentally normal, you want to make sure that because of the, the time you spend with them and the positive connections that you built with them from birth up, that you still have that stable base and that close attachment with them as they get older and eventually go on out into the world by themselves. These are the three main traits of the Gemini parent I wanted to talk about, very excited about them. The next video is going to, we're going to talk about the number one flaw of the Gemini parent. It's okay, we all have flaws, me too. I can speak about this flaw from personal experience. That'll be next, so stay tuned and thank you very much for watching.